Okay, so now what I want to do is go to the actual main site. So I'll flick across over here. And this is the actual installation I'm going to be editing. And I want the menu to appear down the bottom here in the footer area. So I'm going to go into my dashboard and go to appearance and menus. What we're looking at here is the menu section, and I probably should have shown you this before I just saved that file. But what I want to show you is right here is using my <laughs> my little arrow tool here. This is the footer menu option that we that I just created then. Okay, so if I clear out of that and just quickly jump back here, and if I was to remove that do that now what I'll do is I'll just quickly cut that I'm going to save the file and I'm going to go back into here and refresh it now if you just keep an eye on the bottom here you'll see that that footer menu option has disappeared okay so that's exactly what I just did then so I'm just going to repaste that back in and I'm going to save it and go back into the dashboard here where I'm in the menu section refresh that and now you'll see I have a theme locations I've got footer menu and primary menu now you see here also that kind of looks a bit weird because the footer menu is uh, is showing up before the primary menu and the reason for that is is because the way it reads it the, the function PHP file on a child theme gets read before the parent theme so a workaround for that is we can just add a comma in here and I can get it to um, I'll just put a number in here like so and save that it's kind of like a delay meaning it's going to delay the reading of this so it'll give it the um, WordPress a chance to read the parent theme before the child theme piece of code um, I'm just putting a random number of nine in there I think that'll be enough I'll save it I'll just go back refresh and see if it changes its position no, I'll have to go back and do a nine. I'll try eleven. That's done it. So I've popped eleven in there, and now I've got the the primary menu in in front of the footer menu. Kind of makes more sense that way. Okay, so after all that. Um, what we've also got to do in order to make this work so if I just click I've got a menu created up here and if I assign that to the oops sorry to the footer menu and save that what should happen is nothing because I'll go down the bottom here see there's still nothing actually displaying here even though I've uh, assigned the footer menu here to that particular menu there. So I'll just uncheck that because I still have one other step to do. Now what I need to do now is for that to actually work is to actually add the menu to the theme. Uh, and I previously mentioned that I'm editing the footer so therefore I need to edit that template file so I have to create a copy of the footer uh, PHP file add that into the, the child theme folder and then go and add that menu into into that uh, footer PHP file so let's go ahead and do that okay so now I'm in the child theme folder what I need to do is go into the parent theme folder and have a look for the footer PHP file which is here so quite simply I'm going to make a copy of that 
then go back to the 2012 child theme and paste that into into the child theme there okay so now what I need to do is open the footer PHP file and what I'm going to do is call that menu into the into the footer PHP file so it will display that menu so the way to do that is I'll just go in here make some space and I'm going to go nav ID equals the name of the actual uh, footer which is the uh, which I called foot uh, menu and close that off there and I'm just going to close off that I'm very slow at typing it's horrible to watch me do this I know and now I'm going to go in here and just pop the PHP in to call that so we use the WP nav menu and I'll add my array and I want to call the theme location for this particular one doing it this way means you can simply uh, add any menu items you create within the theme to the footer menu uh, so it's a, it's a more flexible way to go and and I've also got to add the secondary because it's not the primary so I remember to put secondary in here and I'll close that array close the function and close off delineated PHP and we're all looking pretty hunky-dory there so I'm going to go and save that and just pop back to the theme and just check that that's all worked okay so what I'm going to do is refresh this and hopefully I should get a menu down the bottom I do Okay, so this is the, the footer menu, and it's got the landing page and the blog, and by default, it's just showing that there. So what I need to do, in fact, is add some styling to this particular menu, okay? So in order to do that, I've got to go back into the file and add some styling. 